Uh, Fuego and Ernie and I are just so happy to come back and be with you. Uh, we're enjoying ourselves as we record these uh, uh, programs and these podcasts. And uh, we're even remembering some things that, you know, God did in the early years. And, uh, and today we're just going to continue. We're going to share on uh, following the plan of God and how uh, God used it. faith in our lives and how it's all by faith. That's right. And God speaks to us. You know, Ernie, there's a scripture in Philippians chapter 2 in verse 13 that says, For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So, you know, God puts desires in our heart. That's right. And when he puts desires in our heart, that's where we come in and we, we start like, what, what about this, God? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I think it's so important for us when we're, when, when God puts a desire in our heart, when there's something in, in our heart, we need to follow after it. That's right. Uh, you know, remembering uh, when God first called us to the ministry, we had already been, you know, working in the local church, doing everything we could do to help our pastors. We did Sunday school. We did praise and worship. We did children's church. Everything. We did everything. Ernie and I were very involved. And, you know, one of the things we were remembering this, uh, you know, we would look for... Uh, when, when our church had visiting ministers, we would look to see how we could bless them. We would, we would try to do, we would buy tires for, for traveling mm -hmm. ministers. Mm -hmm. uh, one day, I remember you gave your guitar that That's your right. sister, My your acoustic guitar, guitar yes. that your sister Mandy had bought you. In fact, it was still being paid and yes. we gave it to a, a, mu a, a pastor who mm -hmm. had a music ministry out of Monterey, Mexico. That's right. He's still in the ministry. We yes, are still in touch with him today. That guitar might still be and, strumming. You know, on. somewhere that guitar might have gone on to somebody <laughs> else. But who you know, knows? It is so powerful what God can do with people who are willing to obey Him. Mm -hmm. You know, that's I think that's one of the most important things that we can do in life is obey God and be quick to obey. Mm -hmm. Be quick to do what He tells us to do. And, uh, you know, you pray about it, yes. You ask for confirmation, yes. But once you know, it's so important that we just step out in faith. And we've That's stepped right. out in faith many times. Yes, and, we uh, have. You know. And I think one of the most important things, Jerry, as we've talked about it before, is, you know, you don't have to have all these qualifications. Yes. Just as long as you have a heart to serve God and to obey God. That's all he's looking for. He's yes. not looking for talent. He's not looking for all mm -hmm. these titles, university titles, you know, which is all good. Yes. I have a university title, uh, but what he's looking for is people who are just willing to obey, obey. him and mm -hmm. to take him at his word and just say, God, if you can use yes. me, use me. So everybody qualifies, yes. you know, everybody qualifies, mm -hmm. a child qualifies to obey God, yeah. to do the will of God for their life. And so if, you know, you're watching us and stuff and you have felt a tug in your heart you know, that God is calling you to do something. Well, you need to, to go with that. And another thing that you and I as a couple have practiced since we got married is mm -hmm. when we uh, hear something in our spirit, yeah. we first of all share it with each other. Yes. We don't share it with anybody else. We share it as a couple with mm -hmm. each other. And then we begin to talk about yes. it. And, and the more we talk about it, Jerry. The stronger it gets. The stronger it gets. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. And also, when we start talking about it, it's almost like what has been our experience is that we we get more bits and pieces. That's to right. That. It's like a puzzle. Right. And we start putting the little pieces together as right. we talk. And then That's God right. gives you more and gives me more. And by the time we know it, we're already walking in You're it walking and we can see it. a picture just like a puzzle. Right. And, uh, you know, it's just a stepping it's out It's amazing faith. how yeah. how God does and it. You know, something, Ernie, I really believe that today, uh, you know, young people especially, um, it doesn't matter what age you are, but God is calling people. Yes, He needs. He's God. We're all God has That's right. to we're work with. We're His hands. He we're is. His feet. We're His handiwork. We so are created. We're his messengers. In his image for good works. Mm -hmm. He's prepared beforehand for those that love him. Mm -hmm. He's prepared stuff for us. There's there's so many things. And I think we're going to, you know, 
Uh, I, I think of when it says that he will wipe every tear away when we yeah. get to heaven. Right. Maybe those tears are going to be about things that we could have done and we didn't do. You right. know, and we just didn't step out. We didn't, uh, you know, we've been yeah. to to a place where we've sold everything. Left everything, left, left family, our, left our, our jobs. crying mothers. Yes. I remember your mother would say, well, who do you know in Oklahoma? What are you going to do? When, when God was calling us to, to come to Bible school, to Rama Bible Training College. And, uh, you know, uh, I was working at the airport. Ernie was a teacher. We had security. We had two girls. We had, uh, we two weren't renting. Girls. We had our own, we, we had a 1973 Brookwood <laughs> Hey, <laughs> I kid about this. It's paid home. for. Yeah, and it was paid for. But I said, if we ever got mad at the neighbors, we could always hook it up to the back of the pickup and move it to another trailer That's park. That's right. You know? So we left but, to another state. Yes. But, you know, uh, we laugh at those things now, but w those small beginnings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And today, we don't live in a 73 Brookwood. Today, God now has we have blessed several us. Several homes. God has blessed yes. us on the mission field. Yes, God has. has blessed us. I was talking to somebody last night, and they were saying, well, how long have you been in Mexico? And I said, well, I have been in Mexico full time 32 years. This mm -hmm. is We're going on our 33rd year this that's, year. That's right. Of being in Mexico. And you know what? We should not have been successful. We didn't have a mission board behind us. No. We didn't have... A church you know, behind us. We didn't have a church behind us that no. sent us as a missionary. Do you remember the church we came out yes. of since we were young people and which mm -hmm. he grew in, dissolved into several yes. churches. Yes. And then the ones who said that they were going to help us never showed up. Yeah. I mean, those, those kinds of, of things. But when it's God's plan for your life, there's nothing yeah. that's going to stop it besides yourself, yes. your your lack of faith yes. in what God has spoken over you. And, uh, you know, so many people, Jerry, so many, yes. Um, yes, just people out there thinking, you know, well, I'm not gifted enough. I'm not anointed enough. Mm -hmm. God couldn't choose me. I have a lot of skeletons in the closet. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of yeah. background to me. How could God ever want to use me? And all this time God is thinking, man, yeah. She's perfect to be used. I yeah. need people like her, like him, to reach people that yeah. that are now living in what they used to live in yes. before and that maybe you and I can't reach, that, Jerry. That right there, I think, is what God is, is like. I think sometimes he said, man, that's the best time to use you when that's you right. don't think you can be used. He has no perfect he, people. He graces you. No perfect children. He gives you a grace yes, to do something. Yes, he he gives you the ability to do it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he fills you with the power of the Holy Ghost. That's right. And, you know, uh, when, you know, we just like, uh, we, I think we lack pioneers in the church. You a know, pioneer spirit. Pioneer spirit, yes. Pioneer spirit. That's right. That, that you're willing to go and, and, you know, go to a city yeah. and, and just start from zero. Where and the saying, Lord leads. I don't know anybody there. Yeah. Who cares? You know Jesus. That's right. You know the Holy Ghost. That's right. You know Christ. And uh, you know the Father. And He's with you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I love this, uh, you know, uh, a minister that we, we follow. And he said, you know, you should take a believer and parachute him out of a, uh, right. you know, parachute him, out of, him a, out of a plane in an, in an island. And you come back in three months and he's got a church going already that's or right. she has a mm -hmm. church going already. You know, uh, that's just something I don't know, Ernie, you and I, uh, you know, uh, we we, just did it's it. not that we're not afraid. Yeah, there's some fear there. Mm -hmm. I mean, remember when we were going to build our first house and I couldn't even open my mouth to say, yes, go ahead and build because I was yes, afraid. I remember. And you know what? It turned out that we built that house debt free in two That's and a right. half years. That's right. And God worked miracle after miracle. Yes. And, you know, our pastor Bobby Crow says that, you know, 90% of right. the hard work is starting. Just saying yes. Yes. Just to start, yes. Just to take the first step mm -hmm. is your ninety percent. Mm -hmm. The other ten percent, man. Once you get started, you get momentum. Mm -hmm. You you start seeing the hand of God. Mm -hmm. You start seeing the provision of God. Mm -hmm. You start seeing people right. come into your life you that start God has getting assigned. excited about yes. what God is asking you to do. And you know, there might be some people out there um, that are watching and say, "Well, I don't have that pioneer spirit. Yeah. I, I don't like to try new things. Yeah. I don't like to do this. I don't like to do that." Well, do what God has called you to do. Not everybody yes. 
has this pioneer spirit. I remember one person tell me, I could never do what you do. I could never leave everything and just go where, you know, and start new. Yeah. And I said, well, that's okay because God hasn't called you to do it. Yeah. You know, he mm -hmm. knows who will and he knows who yes. won't. And I remember in the early years when we started our first church, Jerry, I remember that I didn't feel like I was the one who was called. I didn't feel like I was anointed. Yeah. I felt like you were the one who went to Bible school, so you were anointed. And I was the one who went to college, so I was a school teacher, and that was my gifting and no more. Yeah. I did not know, and this is so good uh, to know now that I can be free. I was set yes. free. That, you know what, God doesn't just call one person yeah. in the ministry. He calls us both. As husband and wife. And As husband I really and wife. believe that we, you know, I mean, we've preached together around the world. Around today the world, yes. In many different mm -hmm. countries. And I always tell the people, I can sit down and let my wife minister, and I will receive. She's got a word. She's got an anointing. But you know what? You're a couple. You, mm -hmm. You're one flesh. Mm -hmm. And we work together. Even on the Crusades, Ernie, I'll, I'll look over to you and ask you, are you getting mm -hmm. anything? And you'll tell me, yeah, somebody's being healed of a uh, skin disease. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. sure enough, I'll call it out. That's and right. people think, well, he's getting all these words of knowledge. No, we're working as a team. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The powerful thing is that we get the miracles back. I had that skin disease and I went home and as I was showering, I noticed that I didn't have those spots on my skin that I used to have. Mm -hmm. I was healed on the way home. That's and right. it's so powerful mm -hmm. to see that. But you know, yeah. stepping out, In following the, the will stepping of God, of faith. you know, the yes. plan of God. I'm telling you. It's one step at a time, really, yes. Jerry. God's not going to give you the whole plan because if he gives you the whole plan, you're going to be too scared to do it. Yeah. But if he shows you one step, you can take one yes. step Mm -hmm. at a time yeah. and then you know i think that one of the the biggest things for us it's almost like a thrill you know you yeah. get addicted to this what's well, got you get a rush i know <laughs> it's an <laughs> adrenaline <laughs> rush of faith or yeah. something but uh i think it's just like okay what's gonna god gonna ask for next yeah. you know and you take that one step of faith for those of you that are watching you know um you take one step of faith and you do what God has called you to do, even if it's a small thing. Yeah. And once you fulfill that first step, you know what? Mm -hmm. You get faith arises. Yeah. Faith arises in your heart. And you say, well, well, I, I did it. Yes. I did it. I can do that. So then God says, okay, well, I'm going to take you to the next step. Mm -hmm. You know, he, God doesn't just throw you out there. Yeah. You know, yeah. he has been preparing you. And I really believe, Jerry, that God had been pre preparing us since you know we were small children yes. to to like the things that we like because you know we're we're very opposite in many things but in one thing that we're so alike is our our love for the nations yes since we were children mm -hmm. when nobody else in your family no. uh, wanted to go to mexico nobody else in my family did my sisters my brother but there was something in me that just loved Mexico mm -hmm. yeah. and when we got married you asked me where do you want to go on your honeymoon and I said I want to go to Mexico you know because I didn't get to go hardly any time yes. and so it was pretty wonderful how God started working in us he puts a desire in your heart since you're a to child yeah. yeah and then those things the the things that you've gone through as children and the uh, how can I say the things that you like as a child your experiences right yeah. your experiences uh they all help you. Mm -hmm. They all form you. Those things form you. And sooner or later, you're going to need them in what God has called you yes. to do. You know, I thought that since I wasn't anointed, that my teaching degree was going to be like for nothing. You know, all yeah. those years of hard work and stuff. But then I found out that, you know, mm -hmm. I, for 10 years, I traveled. It actually in the, opened the doors It opened the doors you. because I had a, a, a degree yes. in education. It and opened the doors to me. Being in another mm -hmm. country, right. uh, your degree, yeah. they even called you la psicologa, which the, is the, the psychologist. Right. <laughs> they thought I was a, they called me psychologist. Yes. They called me counselor. They yes. called me teacher. They called me mis. And, and you went into the schools in Mexico, which that's another a step of faith. Whole and, other and story. Whole other story. Because people said that can't be done. You can't do that. You're no. a foreigner. You, you don't, don't have the right documentation. No. You don't you speak, don't speak the language that we well. We spoke Spanish. But, yes. But you know what? <laughs> when God says you're going to do something, 
begin to pack your bag, get your passport ready, get your stuff ready because God yes. said you're going, you're going. Yes. I'm telling you. Remember when God, I mean, I'm remembering right now so many, so many things that, so you know, about things. the will of God. But remember, uh, you know, when God put in our heart to come to Ramah, to yes. come to prepare back mm -hmm. in 1988. And, uh, you know, I was so, I mean, I, I was, that's all I could think about. Yeah. And, I, you know, I didn't have a job here. No. I, I didn't know Neither anybody did here. My mom and dad would tell me, well, who do you know in Oklahoma? How are oh, you going to work over there? What are you going to do? How is it that you're going to be able to take, you know, you're taking your family? And you know what? You don't have all the answers. No. All you have is the step that God gave you. Mm -hmm. And when you take that step, That's right. God, God yes. prepares. There's a friend of yes. mine that says, if you'll take a step, God will build a floor underneath. That's right. And the other thing, uh, to know is that, you know, we didn't know a whole lot back then. We no. didn't even know anything about faith or anything. We just stepped out. You know, we didn't know it was faith we were stepping yeah. out into. We were just saying, well, this is what we feel in our spirit. Yeah. We didn't know how to put a word to it. But, you know, uh, sometimes people will come and try to say, no, that's not God. Yeah. Well, that's another thing we've learned. You God know what? God didn't talk to them. No, he you didn't. Know? He didn't give them your plan. And be careful mm -hmm. right. to share what God is speaking to you about with people that are not spiritual, yeah, people that have don't never understand. heard the voice of God. Or don't understand. You go tell somebody, hey, God said this. Are you crazy or what? No, God speaks to us. God yes. will lead us. Mm -hmm. And you know, Ernie, remember that uh, when, when we came here in 1988, you were talking about you don't know everything. The things that we thought we knew, we didn't know. No, they were we, wrong. We would listen to Brother Hagen, and I would come home and tell you, Ernie, I heard this, and what what we had been taught right. was incorrect. Yes. What what we thought was faith was presumption, mm -hmm. and you know, and and so we had to relearn a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I had, sometimes I felt like I was in yep. class at Rama. I was in class, and they were like peeling layers off of me of unbelief. <laughs> yes. But man, I'm telling you, when you get a revelation of faith, yes. and when yes. you get a revelation of the Word of God, yes. you know, you get a revelation of healing. You get a revelation. Yes. I mean. Ernie, uh, we hear the sad stories. Well, we think sad stories that Brother Hagen said that, you know, sometimes they, they, they went to churches and they wouldn't feed them <laughs> for days. They wouldn't feed them and stuff. I said, oh, thank God he went through that and he taught us faith to believe God. And we never, we, we've never suffered like that in Not 32 like years that. of ministry no. in Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, we've... Uh, we've seen the hand of God. We, we have, we have no sad God. stories. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, there have been some sad days. There have been some yeah. stuff. That, difficult you know, situations. Difficult. In but, fact, there's been some dark days. Yes, but you know what keeps you in those dark days, in mm -hmm. those difficult moments, in those sad times? And not that there hasn't been. There has been. Yeah. But we refuse to dwell on it. Yes. And we refuse to give testimony to it unless it's to exhort. Yes. Because in our darkest days, we had friends. Yes that came through, Christian yes. friends that came through and encouraged us. Yes, they called yeah. us with an encourage. The Lord yes. said this to me. Right. Yes, and gave us a word. And, mm -hmm. and you know, we went home and, and looked that word up mm -hmm. in the, in the yes. you know, in what was it uh, that um, nowadays you can just go to your cell phone, but we used to carry uh, one of those... Um, Concordance. Concordances. Concordances, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, every we minister did. carried... Yes. <laughs> We carried a huge concordance, you know. Yes. But anyway, today, thank God for the cell phone. We got yes. a concordance in yes, here. Yes, that's and, right. You know. But anyway, you know, following the plan of God, we sold everything. Mm -hmm. You know, we sold our trailer. Several times when you know, God has called us, we when sold God has things. Called us, we given have, away a lot of yes, stuff. Yes, we sold a lot of things. stuff. Uh, we've given, yeah. you know, uh, remember when God called us to leave nine years ago? the place where we had been for 20 years oh pastoring gosh, yes. and we gave furniture away yes, to friends. Yes. I mean, beautiful furniture. Mm -hmm. And it was like, you know, we left and, you know, we didn't have a, a go to this place. A promise, no, a finances we, we or just, anything. We just knew that we were supposed to leave. Yes, your we grandma was knew. one of our supporters yes. when we first stepped out yes. and then she died. 
Yeah. And she would, went to our she, remember she would send us hundred and fifty dollars a month. Yes. And then I'm telling you back That was 19, a lot back then. In nineteen eighty eight uh, well, our rent was $300. That's right. Okay. That's and, right. And, uh, you know, how we did it. I don't know. I, we never. We well, never, it was God. But it you know God. what, Ernie? We never missed a rent payment. No, we didn't. They never, we never went hungry. We, we, they never cut our light off. Right. And light is, in spe is, is expensive in Mexico, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. I mean, gasoline is expensive in Mexico. I hear people complaining here in South Texas. They're saying, oh, I'm paying $2 for a gas for, for a gallon of gas, hey, try, try paying $3.78 to $4 a gallon in Mexico. And we've been paying that mm -hmm. for 30 years. It's yeah, been expensive we've... for 30 years. But you know what? God has provided right. we, everything. We learned how to trust in God yes. and only in God because there's a lot of good-hearted people out there that say, I'm going to send you support. Yeah. And then, you know, something happens in their life, mm -hmm. you know, and they can't send it. And then they feel yeah. bad, you know. Yeah. But we understand that. But, you know, God we is... quick to right. put our trust I remember in Him. When we were when we were here in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, we, I run at the time that the post office was going to come. Yes. And there was a little old lady. She was 80-some years yes, old from I our church her. back in Brownsville. And she would send us a dollar, what was it, a yes. month or a well, week? She a would write week. us and to encourage us yeah. and stuff. But and that she would dollar, put one or two dollars in oh there. Oh my gosh, that dollar was like a thousand dollars for <laughs> us at that time. You know, but I had to learn not to trust in the post office because yeah. sometimes, you know, it wouldn't get you there on time. You can put your trust or... in the P.O. box or you can put your trust in the mailbox. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you have got to put your trust in that's God. Right. Did he call you? Did yes. he tell you to what do it? What did God say to do? That's right. Know? And, and you know, and then some people are afraid to follow God's will because they say, well, what if it's not God's will? Well, you know what? Uh, doing the word. Yes. Preaching the word is yes. God's will. Yes. You know, how you do it is, you know, how, how mm -hmm. you're going to get that word out there. How you're going to, you know, uh, doesn't have to be costly either. Yes. You could just share with your friends and yes. you're doing the will of God. Yeah. You know, uh, praying for the sick is doing the will of God. Now, there are those that God calls to different places, to, to other ministry. countries like yep. us. You know, but I, like I said, I think it's something that was in us and got put in us yeah. since we were children, mm -hmm. you know. We've seen the other side of the coin too, Ernie. Yeah, We've we seen have. missionaries who I thought, buddy, you need to go back home, you know, yes. because they were a bad example. Well, they were, you know. Yeah, they were doing damage, they, yes. they They were living a miserable life, Yes, you know. Their children were suffering. Their wives, their wives were suffering. Their wives. And, you know, I just didn't have it in my heart to say, brother, you got to go back home and Somebody get Somebody once told me, <laughs> if you look... The, it was Pastor Bobby. <laughs> oh, was it? If you end up looking, after a couple of years, if you end up looking like your passport photo... It's that, time to go it's home. It's time to go home. That's a sure <laughs> indicator if you look like your passport you photo. Know, babe, in 32 years, and I thank God because, you know, if Ernie... Uh, has been a, a force, uh, a faith force, and an encourager. You know, we've gone through like hard times and and you know difficult times, but we have seen the God, the hand of God because we have come. I, I thank God for uh, Brother Hagen when he taught us about the prayer of agreement. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. man, have we used that in our mm -hmm. ministry? Yes. And uh, you know, I tell you, we as just a husband did a, and wife, a conference yes, on it for we couples. We just did a conference for prayer couples on the prayer of agreement right. and how we shared testimonies mm -hmm. of how mm -hmm. we have seen the hand of God. I think that's one thing that has man maintained us on the mission field and doing whatever God has called us really is uh, that we know that God called us. Yeah. We know God called us for a purpose, mm -hmm. and we have stuck it out. Yeah. Remember, we have stuck it we out. Were in, we were on the mission field in Ciudad Victoria, and it was some years into it, and, uh, you know, um, it, things were... We didn't miss a meal. We never mm -hmm. ran out of gas. They never cut our light off. No. Uh, we paid the rent all the time, but... There was there was some other needs that were different things. And Ernie said one day, Jerry, what do you think? We were only 200 miles from the Texas border. Mm -hmm. Back she then. Said, Back then. <laughs> what do you think if I, uh, we can solve two problems. That's we right. can educate our kids in schools in Texas. 
I can work as a teacher Monday through Friday. I can catch a bus on Friday afternoon with the girls. That's right. And I'll be here, uh, you know, Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, and I'll leave Sunday afternoon, go back, and start the routine again. Yeah. And so, you know, I thought, man, she's going to go back to the border. And I was thinking, man, she could make like twenty-five to $3,000 a month. Can you imagine just going you know, to $3,000 a month, and that would, like, solve everything. And I just, you know what? I prayed about it. Mm -hmm. You know, just because something looks good isn't the will of God. No. You know, just because something seems like it solves your problem. Or it sounds good. Or it sounds good. It it made sense in my brain. It made sense. You know, it was like, hey, somebody, what do you do whatever you have to do. We've heard that before. But you know what? Before you do whatever you have to do, if you'll acknowledge him in all your ways, mm-hmm. he will direct your paths. That's right. That has been key. There are, there are certain scriptures that are key to us that we have put into effect in mm-hmm. our life. And I prayed and the Lord said, I didn't call you to be here and nope. for her to work over there. No plan B. So that you could do what I called you to do. Mm-hmm. And I said, that's it. It's a no. Mm-hmm. And I went to Ernie and I said, Dave. Um, you're, we can't, we can't do that. God's right. going to do it another we way. We didn't. And, and you know what? God did it. He did it another way. He we, provided. We, we, he provided. He just gave us the grace and, mm-hmm. you know, gave us the grace to do that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, uh, we can't say that this one person wrote us a check for this or the other. It was just, it was like, uh, the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich. And it, and added. it added no sorrow that's right. with it. And Amen? that's how we have lived yes. in the mission field all these 32 that, years. That's how we and that's how we'll measured. continue. Yes, we'll continue. that's how we have measured, Ernie. Uh, Any time that stuff begins to be a burden, mm-hmm. we say the blessing of the Lord, mm-hmm. it maketh rich, yes. and it addeth no sorrow. That's right. If this thing is adding sorrow, then it wasn't not. God. Mm-mm. God did not we add We put it that. upon ourselves. We, we, we put it upon ourselves, and we put it out of our life. Or we, we let it, it go, or, or we, we sell it, or give it away, or mm-hmm. whatever. But, you know, uh, we have made a desire. You know, you said one thing one day. I was born to say yes. Yes, I was born to say yes to God. Yes. We We were were born born to say yes to God. You were born to say yes. You were born to say yes to God. And we encourage you. We've got a few minutes. We're going to be, you know, uh, we're just getting started. And I'm remembering so many things. But, you know, (laughs) uh, time on camera goes by so quick. That's right. That's uh, right. You know, uh, we love you. We want to thank you for being supporters of Jerry Garcia Ministries International. Yes. You are helping us minister Mm -hmm. around the world. You are helping us to take this message of the powerful gospel of Jesus Christ Mm -hmm. to every hurting place. We we just saw a young lady that was in crutches get healed. We, we, We were seeing the miracles of God, and we just want to say... Thank you so much. And yes. you know what? There's fire. What You know, you read this fuego, this broadcast, fuego. You know what? I believe that that has been the force that has taken us through these 30-some years. The Holy of Spirit. Men, the Holy Ghost and the fire of God That's right. in our lives. That's and right. we're, just, we're just blessed. Yes, and so we are. We just want to let you know how much we appreciate mm. you, how much we love you. That there's and even what that you're watching Yes, that this. you're watching. Would you please do us a favor? Would you subscribe? Yes. And would you share it with your friends yes. so that others will be blessed? And Father, in That's the right. name of Jesus, thank we you, just Lord. bless the people that are watching us, yes. we thank you that they're able to, they have the, the mind of Christ and they can follow the will of God for their lives yes. from the smallest detail to the largest detail, Amen. Father. In the name of Jesus, faith we pray you, that Jesus. faith arises in your heart faith and in that Jesus thing name. that God put in your heart to do, you'll be able to do it That's in right. Jesus' name. We love you and until the next broadcast, yes. God bless you. God bless you richly. Dios te bendiga. We love you. Dios te bendiga.